I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and posting excellent questions. Now this question is from my subscriber who wants to understand how to find square root of 786 from one of the methods which we have discussed that is repeated division. Now my dear in this particular video I'll show you how to find the square root to second decimal place. So I've rewritten this number 786 with two set of zeros after the decimal so that we can calculate this value to second decimal place. So we'll begin with our process and that is uh, from the decimal place you will take move left and make pairs. So 86 is first pair, number 7 is left alone. Now. You need to look for two numbers which when multiplied to themselves give result which is less than 7. That is 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, we cannot use that. So here we normally write the same number on the divisor and on the quotient. So 2 times 2 is 4 and when you take the remainder is 7 minus 4 which is 3 bring down the next set which is 86 for us and now when you divide I'm using the square root symbol uh, and this is kind of a special division where when we divide we multiply the quotient by 2 rewrite it so 2 times 2 is 4 so we get 4 here and now we have to look for a number which when placed here the same number could go into 3, 8, 6. Now 4 times 8 is 32. We could try 8. 4 times 9 is 36. But 9 times 9 is 81. So that will be higher than 3, 8, 6. So we'll try 8. Right. So 8 is the number. So when you multiply by 8, 8 times 8 is 64. So you get 4. 6, 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 6 is 38, right? So now again, we'll follow the division process. The remainder here will be 2. Now after the decimal place, we have to take the numbers in sets of 2's and after decimal, we make sets from the decimal moving right. So always the set of 2's is made when you move from decimal, whether towards left or right, okay? So bring down both the zeros. Now, we need to divide this by twice this. 2 times 28 is 56. And then we have to look for a number which when placed here, both same places. Well, since I put the numbers after decimal here, I'll make a decimal, then look for a number. So we have 28 point something. Now, even if I write 1 here, 1 here, I get 561. Now 561 is greater than 200, so we cannot really even take 1. So the only number which we could try is 0, and I hope that was problematic, right? So this is kind of interesting. So now when you multiply by 0, what you get is 0, 0, 0, and when you take away 0 from 200, you get 200, and bring down two numbers which are zeros okay then we need to divide by twice the number which we have on the top right this number is five six zero and then we have to write a number which is kind of same at this place and which could go into twenty thousand so five times four is twenty of course 6 times 4 will be 24, so that will make it bigger. So we can try the number 3, right? So we'll try the number 3. Placing 3 here, now let's divide. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6 is 18, 8, 1. 3 times 5, 15, and 1, 16, right? So we do get some remainder. This process can be continued, correct? So you could always now borrow. So it's set of 9s. This one is 10, 9, 9 take away 8 is 1, 9 take away 6 is 3. So that becomes your remainder. The process could, however, be continued. But well, we are only interested in finding the square root of this number to the 
hundredth place and therefore now we get our answer which is square root of 786 is approximately equal to 28.03 right so that is how you can actually find square root I hope this method helps you to understand how without calculators we could find square root of bigger numbers even to hundredth decimal place I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.